Right, so this is just a quick video um, on replacing the sun visor clip here. So as you can see, it's meant to be like that one there. Um, and when I was, I had to remove um, some of these parts when I was doing some work. And what I actually ended up doing is removing this one um, while I had this still on there. So once this dropped down, it just snapped the, the um, clip off. So what we have to do is split the black section off first because it looks like this underneath and there's a casing which goes on top so we want to split the casing off and then we want to go right underneath and, and then we'll pop this out and replace that and put the casing back on so what you want to do is get your hat um, get a plastic um, trim tool and then get underneath like that you heard that click and then probably move on to around the other side as well do the same at the back And then if I can, try and do the same here as well. And then this should come off. So just sort of remember that you've got the curved bit towards the front of the car and then the more uh, square slash rectangle bit towards the back. So I'm just gonna put that down there. And then you need to get right underneath now. I don't know if you could pull it. I don't think you will be able to, but get right underneath. And then should pop off like that so now all we've got to do is get our new one and it's in that orientation that we want it in just double check look at that one so it's like that push that into place so that's gone in it's a bit of a looser fit compared to this one I may um, open these up slightly that might help just to add a bit more tension on here when it goes in obviously don't want to break the plastic but it doesn't really have like downwards force as such or not too much so it should be fine this isn't I don't think this was a genuine Audi part I just got it actually no I think it was it was from eBay but I think it actually was um, so that bit that's a bit better now. Yeah, it's a bit better. Um, and then just got to make sure this goes on the right way. So curve bit towards the front of the car, square, just rectangle bit towards the back. Click it in. Then that is done. And that will hold it in place now as well. Now it's clipped in. So you don't really need to worry about it if it is slightly loose. And then now that just clips back into place. So that problem is sorted, the tension is a bit tight, but yeah. Anyway, so nice, quick, simple, easy fix if anyone has managed to break them like me. Um, yep, I hope that's helped. Probably said on the other video, but I'm trying to upload videos weekly on this car that I'm working on. Just doing little bits um, around the car. So this is an Audi A3 2009, 2 litre TFSI Quattro S-Line. DSG um, so any little bits which I'll be doing on the car I'll be trying to upload um, weekly if I can and any other mechanical and electrical projects which I decide to take on I'm going to try and upload as well so um, that's sort of what this channel is going to be about little mechanical and electrical projects might be to do with cars motorbikes or other aspects of mechanical and electrical stuff um, so yeah I hope this video has helped you um, if it has, give it a like um, and subscribe for weekly, weekly videos um, and I'll see you on the next one.